Okay, so in this video, I want to talk about setting up a tank. Um, one thing I do want to go over really fast when disposing of more humane way I guess you can say would be rolling it in like paper towel or some toilet paper and tossing it in the trash uh, if you don't live in an area where you can bury it like for example I live in an apartment complex so I don't really have an area to be burying anything at but one big thing I want to mention about setting up an aquarium is do not place aquariums in front of windows reason being the sunlight and the heat will eventually cause the water to heat up inside the aquarium and can potentially cook the fish inside an example of how i have mine set up would be here is my patio door got some nice light i live out in the phoenix area so it's pretty hot and pretty bright uh temperature right now on my patio is a little over 80, which is pretty cool right now for Phoenix weather. Um, and it's September 22nd. So here is my 38 gallon aquarium. And there is my front door. There is my patio door. The light is actually, there's a shadow you can see right here going through. So it's not directly on my aquarium itself as well as this aquarium this one's definitely far away from the window as you can see all the way over there I'd say it's about 15 or so feet away go to my bedroom sorry for the mess we've been rearranging stuff window here there is an aquarium there but that's got my hamster inside asleep as you can see definitely no water i've got my window covered up right now because it causes my room to get up to like 80 something degrees even with the ac set to like 74 but window there i'll turn to my right my computer station there's my 25 gallon aquarium let's go back to the window and start turning there's my bedroom door there's my other aquarium both far away from the window um absolute necessities i know i've mentioned before but want to go over again we've got the aquarium filter your heater especially with tropical fish if it's not tropical fish you do not need a heater for a goldfish but if you just so happen to be in an area where it gets below um let's say like 60 or so degrees inside your your home then yeah you probably might need a heater for some goldfish plant definitely need some lighting 6500k when setting it up make sure you have a sturdy stand don't want to have an aquarium bust on you due to the fact that you don't have something holding up matter of fact i had some extra one by twos and or two by twos and i put support brackets right in the middle of this thing so it goes all the way to the ground while the back of it does have a support because it's got a wall on the back but really other than that um definitely by a window don't put by anything that causes heat if you just so happen to put it in the closet i got my birds in here they might start chirping uh, hot water heater that's covered up so if you just so happen to put it in here i'm working on my bird cage right now um Make sure you keep it away from the water heater of any source of heat. Don't forget that the aquarium lighting itself is going to cause the aquarium to heat up. So, like with this one right now during the summertime, I've got, I don't know, it's going to be too bright. One T5 bulb on, and the other's turned off. But I need at least one for my lighting. That pretty much covers up setting up the tank. Um definitely do the cycling process don't immediately start throwing fish in there like a lot of pet stores will tell you 
order a water clarifier or water maintainer and especially like stress coat to help maintain the water and get rid of any chlorine and such inside the water.